Cincinnati's renaissance is no longer a secret. Much of that success is owed to partnerships with organizations willing to help launch small businesses. Our next guest is one of those people. Joining Courier publisher Jamie Smith is Urban Site CEO Greg Olson. Greg, thanks for being my virtual guest today. We really appreciate you taking the time to come in and have this interview. Can you give uh, kind of a brief description to our viewers of what Urban Sites does? Well, first of all, thanks for having me, Jamie. Glad to be here. Uh, Urban Sites is a multifamily, uh, mixed-use, residential, commercial office retail developer in Over the Rhine. We've been in Over the Rhine for 25 years. Wow, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so we do property management, construction services. We do mostly our own. We do quite a bit of third party these days. Um, we also do um, development and um, advisory services too. So there are folks that may not even be partners with us, but they come to us and ask for advice on how to bring deals together. Um, so what I think of as Urban Sites and how Urban Sites sets itself apart is that we really look at our relationships. We have quite a few investors and we are always looking for partnerships. We will partner with folks who have similar interests. We have a very long-term hold profile and um, we have experience um, so when we bring a, a business to, let's say, to a commercial or retail space, not only do we um, perform the construction work, but we, we help them make the right business decision, completely transparent. And a lot of times we become their partners. A lot of times we might even invest in their business. So um, we look at ourselves as mentors, as investors, as um, social, social media uh, champions. Um, you know, we, we go to their businesses. We might even sit on some of their, um, um, at some of their, their board meetings. You know, we, awesome. we really are completely ingrained in this community. We do work in Covington, over the Rhine, and Walnut Hills, and we really prefer the urban walkable communities. We love Cincinnati, and, uh, and just recently we have partnered with CMHA, uh, and we'll be doing some affordable housing projects with them. One on 12th Street will be 66 units, so we're not only performing all the construction services, but we'll be uh, their developer, developer partner on that as well. And we see that as a, as, as a neighborhood community focus. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's what Urban Science is. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, I think you and I have talked before about how important uh, the OTR, you know, uh, the Pendleton areas downtown are so important okay. to what Cincinnati's doing. So obviously having partnerships with organizations like yours are very important. Have you guys uh, got anything major, any new projects going on or any plans in the work? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thanks for asking. So we are working on a a very large project right now with the, the Art Academy of Cincinnati. They came to us about a property we own on Jackson Street immediately across the street. So we're basically creating a campus-like atmosphere for them. And it is, it'll allow them to have anywhere between 85 and 110 students in that location. And what we really appreciate about the Art Academy is that this is a long-term partnership for us. We are working on this um, We've been, we took us about two years to put the, um, the project together and they, they're seeing tremendous results from the enrollment numbers that they normally don't start to see until mid June, mid July, but by the end of May, they were very close to having a record um, freshman incoming enrollment. So that's one of the big projects. We're working with another gentleman by the name of Richard Cook in the LGBTQ commu community. Um, he's doing a project called E19. He calls it straight friendly, which really, really makes us laugh. It's such a clever way to uh, approach his, his project. We were introduced to him by another partner of ours on another project. And they said, hey, we want you to get to know Richard. And just today we were on the phone with him and he was talking about how much he appreciates the partnership because we, you know, we have our own um, in-house architect. And so we can help them through historic conservation board hearings. We can help them through permitting. And we can help them find the nuances. See, we've been doing this for 25 years and over the line. We have... 680 tenants, 450 units. So yeah, this is a 
yeah, that, those are some of the big things we want. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I want to thank you for not only being on the show today, but for for what you guys are doing to the community. As we both said, it's such an important part of Cincinnati right now and their tra- trajectory. And uh, just seeing what you guys have done, seeing the support you've given to your businesses and uh, your tenants through these rough times we've had of the last few months with COVID it, has been great. So thank you so much for what you're doing. And thank, thank you for being on the show today. I appreciate the time. All right. Have a great day.